Hi from, oh sorry, it's hi from loymosquito.com. No, hi. This is, <laughs> oh man, I'm just tired, okay, because I've been doing videos right from uh, 9 o'clock in the morning um, and now it's a 7.52 in the evening. So I've been doing videos nonstop from that time, so obviously I'm a little tired. Anyway, live from loymosquito.com, who is Lloyd Mosquito and Think Personal Branding. Today the time is, the date is, What's the date? October 15, 2017. That's the Sunday time right now. It's 7.52 in the evening. This is going to be my last video for the day. And it's going to be about masturbation, religion, and sex. Okay. Now, first and foremost is, uh, these are my thoughts. So if you're conservative, please do not watch this video. But if you're open-minded and you want to learn, watch the video. Now, uh, I'll just share with you my, um, my experience uh, growing up, I grew up in a typical South Indian Catholic family. For them, uh, even a kissing scene on the TV, which used to be censored, you know, when the um, hero of the Hindi movie and the heroine, they would kiss. They would just, you know, the camera, if these are two characters, these are two characters, this man, this is a woman, these are the lips, they would just move like this, and you'd only see the back of their heads, and they would just do this. So you would see her eyes here, her eyes, and he started covering. So and then the camera would go blurred, and then they would do this. So, and then you see a little bit of lipstick, so it was like they kissed. And even when this scene was played on television, or when they would even show flowers, they would just show two flowers. My father, or my stepfather would look like this and like that. My mother would look uh, up and down. Everyone would look, and I would like, why is it so embarrassing? So, I was brought up in a family where this was really embarrassing. Sex was very embarrassing. It was dirty, it was bad, nobody talked about it. My mother and father never had a conversation about sex or sexual education with me, and I never knew what was sex. In fact, I got introduced to sex accidentally uh, with the small kids that I used to play with. Uh, one day, one girl kissed me accidentally on the lips and said, I love you. And that felt good. I don't know. It kind of gave me electric shocks and you know funny feelings. And uh, then when I thought it's fun kissing, and uh, you know obviously uh, you know funny feelings in the stomach. We were smooching and kissing and practicing uh, our tongues and our lips and this and that. And we started doing it with all the girls. I was kissing all the girls because I was the only guy there. And uh, that morphed into doctor doctor game. And uh, I used to wait, and the girls used to wait to be alone, and we used to enjoy with each other. So. That is how uh, I got introduced to sex and sexual feelings. Well, obviously, unfortunately for me, I got sexually molested and raped by my uncle, which is not a very good thing. Uh, but, and you know, because I grew up to be a very handsome young man, uh, many gay men, uh, my, there was a barber near my shop, the shopkeeper were also tried, they would fondle my genitals or they'd touch me in a sexual way. I hate that. So I, you know, Growing up, there was so many confusion. I didn't know who to go to. Uh, then, however, as I grew up into a teenager, uh, saw these scenes and you know tried kissing girls, and that was fun. And uh, we'd kiss behind the church or in the toilets, or we'd hide behind cars and kiss. Uh, so all that stuff uh, happened. So that was my introduction into sex. And the first time I saw a porno, a uh, adult movie, it was thanks to some of the guys, the backbenchers, they gave me to see a porno movie. I took it home. I watched it when my grandmother was sleeping with a VHS tape. And I saw this, this, this old fashioned, it was an oldie, the thing, you know, the guy with the mustache and beard, uh, and they had pubes and, you know, a bush. And, uh, she was sucking his penis. I was like, yeah, why would they want to do that? And the guy was weighing down. And I was like, yeah, you know, this is disgusting. I mean, and then she, he would come all over her face and, and they would vibe. And I was like, yeah, this is so disgusting. I, I really got shocked. I was really shocked. And I gave the uh, porno back to them. I was, they said, how did you like it? I was like, yeah, it's disgusting. However, after some time, I kind of got used to it watching. You know, those days we had the Windows, I think uh, Windows 98. And uh, you have the JPEG images where you click one, one would come, click and then go, another one would come. So we would have this floppy drives where you'd see maybe five images or ten images in a floppy disk. Um, so that was, um, you know, watching pornos. 
those days. And uh, someone would get a Playboy or Penthouse and we would be very glad that we got it. Uh, so masturbation, in terms of masturbation, the first time I actually, uh, I, I used to masturbate, obviously play with my little, little boy. Uh, I remember once while masturbating and when I turned around, uh, I saw my father, stepfather standing there, this, you know, like this. I just acted as if I didn't see him. I acted as if I went to sleep and I went to sleep. Uh, so nobody actually discussed with me masturbation. So, yeah, it was a really confusing thing. And then in the religious books, all they would say is masturbation is dirty. It's a sin. God will make you blind. You will be punished in hell. Those who masturbate have to have their hands or legs or something cut off. Or it's a sin. And you know what I used to do? Whenever I wanted to masturbate, I would turn the religious statue the other way around, the Mother Mary and Jesus. And I'd do, go do my thing in the bedroom and come back. So, and then I'd say, sorry, Jesus. So... However, today when I look at it from the vantage point of the age that I'm in, I would say uh, I've gained a lot more insight and I can communicate to a lot more people. So if you're a youngster, let me tell you that masturbation is very natural. It's very natural. It's like hunger. It's thirst. It's like feelings. It's very natural. It's very necessary. If it was not natural, you should not feel it. So masturbation or feeling horny is very, very natural. And if you want to masturbate, please masturbate as much as you like. I used to masturbate 11 times a day sometimes, sometimes six. So masturbation is very natural, like hunger, thirst. If you feel like masturbating, you want to go watch a porno or something and masturbate or watch a adult uh, magazine, go masturbate. You're doing it alone. You're not harming anyone. You're just fantasizing. You're living in your creative little world. It's not harming anyone. It's not hurting anyone. Okay. And one of the benefits of masturbation is it does release stress. It makes you feel relaxed. It For me, sometimes I masturbate. I have sex with my wife. I sometimes I masturbate. It helps you get good sleep. When I used to be alone, I used to masturbate every single day. For me, masturbation is as important as eating, sleeping, breathing. If I had masturbated, I could get a good sleep. So masturbation is good for releasing stress, good for getting a good night's sleep. And also, masturbation helps you release your... Uh, it, it helps stimulate your sexual muscles and keep them active. It's like if you don't train your bicep, your bicep just dies off. Uh, you hardly have a bicep, you hardly have muscles. In the same way, when you masturbate, your sexual muscles remain strong. So for a man, if you masturbate, uh, you know, especially the tip of your penis, and you keep rubbing it, especially in the shower with your rough hand, it's a little hard, but if you keep doing that, it makes it strong. So when you have sex with a lady, uh, it, it kind of, uh, it, it's not so sensitive that you'll, you know, you'll climax before you actually enjoy sexual intimacy. So that's another way. If you really want to strengthen your um, your your muscles of your penis, when you when you pee, uh, hold your pee and pee again, hold your pee, pee again, it helps contract those sexual muscles. Uh, another benefit of masturbation is it's very good for your imagination. You go into erotic worlds and want to try your crazy little stuff. Uh, I feel masturbation also helps, uh, at least with me, it helps me focus because after I've masturbated, I've got those sexual thoughts out of my head now I can focus on the job at hand. And if you're going for a date, please masturbate before you go on a date so you don't act desperate when you see the female. It's very, very important. A uh, female or a male would be cool, calm, composed. You, you would love someone who's in control of themselves. And last but not the least, remember, masturbation is fun. It is fun. It is very enjoyable. You should do it. So uh, these are my views on masturbation. I highly recommend that you masturbate. Please ignore the man-made concepts of it's a sin, God is... You know, it's, it's like a God who's up there somewhere who has created this huge, massive fucking universe, huge, massive universe, the billions and billions of galaxies, but he is paranoid to... Ignore all the billions of galaxies, all the billions of universes, all the billions of solar systems, all the billions of planets, all the billions of life forms, all the billions of human beings, all the billions of countries, all the billions of individuals sitting there, comes right into your house, into your bedroom, and he is pretty fascinated with what you do with your genitals, with your, with your vagina or with your penis. I mean, what kind of God is that? So I just feel this is really man-made bullshit. Just masturbate, relax, enjoy yourself, have fun. There's no God up there. There's no, uh, there's no entity who's going to look at your genitals, who's going to look at what you're doing. It's fun. Just do it. Relax and ignore the the ignorant people who tell you all this bullshit. So Lloyd from LloydMasida.com, who's Lloyd Masida and Think Puzzle Branding. Uh, enjoy your masturbation, have fun. And if there are any questions, let me know uh, if you want to put them in the comments below. 
you know, to send me an email, but be glad to hear from you. Uh, this is Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com, who's Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding, saying goodbye for now. Take care.